So I've been researching FPV flying for the past few months and I finally saved up and bought all the parts and this is my version of a super simple ground station and FPV setup. So here's my radio. This is a JR SX600 FM radio. On top of it you'll see a monitor. That monitor is a, a slave monitor for an in-car DVD system. It's a Philips 7 inch screen. Um, the mount I made for it is custom. I'll show you, it's got a quick detach. Pull off this Velcro. And here's the screen, there's the controller. This is just plywood. This is an old battery I had from a one of those fold up DVD players. Plugs into the bottom of the screen. This gray cable right here goes to the video receiver. That is a video only cable I made. Just There's just two leads in this noodle wire here. I kind of use the geometry of the transmitter so this is all quick detach. I can put it back on and off real fast in case I'm not flying first person view. There it goes again. The Philips monitor or the Philips screen, it does display static on no signal. You want static and not the blue screen because you want to see if you start to drop out signal you want to be able to get back towards your base station. So in other words with the video receiver on and the transmitter not on, you will receive static. And until you unplug the actual cable and power off the receiver, then it goes to a black screen. But other than that, it's all display static. And that's the Philips 7 inch screen, DVD, in car DVD screen. This little trash can here is an, it's an office trash can from the dollar store. I cut out the bottom of it. This is some scrap plastic I had laying around. You can see it, I basically made a frame right there. This is the Velcro right here, and it mates to the screen so that when it's sunny out, I can just use that as a sunshade, and it works pretty good. Or if it's darker out, I don't even need it. Just keep that separate. Next up is my video receiver. This is a 1.3 system from ReadyMade RC. This is the the white big thing here is the, the patch antenna. It faces your plane right here, or as much as you can face it. This is the video receiver. This is a lithium three cell lipo battery. A yeah, three cell lipo battery. It's a little core plastic case I made for it. And this is a spotting scope tripod. And when you buy the patch antenna, they do have the threaded holes back here that you can thread any basic size camera tripod onto. So at the field, I just let's see, unfold this and unfold the legs. And you face it in the general direction you want to fly. And in case you're wondering, Here's a custom made cable I made here that goes from the power up to the LiPo and the gray cable earlier from the transmitter goes in video out. I don't have any sound with this setup. And that's pretty much it with this. It's all Velcroed on there. This can be unscrewed and it folds up to a pretty nice size. The plane I'm using right now is a Park Zone Radian. This is the three channel version. Um, I'm still kind of messing around with what I want to do if I want to keep this plane or not. I'm, I think I might want something a little bit more sporty, but this was a good plane to start off with because you can haul a lot of weight with this plane. The camera I'm using right now, you can see it's fixed on there. It's the Sony 600 TV line camera from securitycamera2000.com. It came, it just, it's one of those cameras that just comes as the, with the board on it, but this pla white plastic right here is a uh, dental floss case, 
Then I cut and you can see it, I formed it on there pretty good. But it's fixed, I don't have pan or tilt yet. And the camera goes up through here, covered up the wiring so it looks nicer. And there's my video transmitter. Again, that's the 1.3 system from ReadyMade RC. Uh, 300 milliwatt power, I believe. And come back, this right here is where it splits off and goes to power. And that cable comes down here. And you can see that goes right up to the um, speed control. So basically when you turn the plane on, it's all ready to go. Turn my video screen on and a transmitter and hook, all, hook the, uh, the video screen up to my video receiver and it's all ready to go. So that's my system for now, just to get started with and we'll see where it goes from here. I'm ordering a GoPro 2 pretty soon so I can get some HD video which will be pretty neat because that looks like an awesome camera. And I can't wait to get on this plane. Uh, comment if you got any questions or anything I could, I could add or get rid of for my setup. Thanks for watching.